Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence with a very important and foundational video on AdWords advertising. I'm going to look at setting and managing your budget. And many people are a little bit intimidated by AdWords because they're worried they're going to spend too much. But you need to understand that uh, you can easily manage how much you spend by taking advantage of the daily budget in AdWords. So I'm going to go over setting your daily budget, how to determine the amount, uh, monitoring it. Uh, what to do when AdWords says you're limited by your budget. And I'm going to give you a quick tip at the end for getting automated email alerts when you go over certain cost limits. So for most people, setting a budget is going to start with doing some basic math. And most businesses and organizations are going to have monthly budgets to work with. So most of my clients give me a monthly budget, but AdWords works with daily budgets. So you will need to uh, break down a monthly budget into a daily budget. So if you had a budget of $2,000 per month, you could simply divide that by, uh, we'll just use 30 days per month to get a uh, month, a daily budget of six, around $66. So, you know, you might use 65 in this case, but keep in mind if you're advertising on a schedule like Monday through Friday, then you need to look at dividing the monthly $2,000 by uh, about 22, which is the average uh, weekdays in a month. So that would give you about $90 per day. So that's where you would set your daily budget. Another way to decide your daily budget may be based on the number of clicks you want to receive. So if you already know that your clicks in your market or industry are going to cost about $2, and let's just say you wanted to get 30 clicks, you would need to budget about $60 per day uh, to get those clicks. So keep in mind that your CPC or cost per click is going to be really important uh, in determining what your most effective daily budget will be. I get a lot of clients who come to me and just say, oh, I want to spend $10 a day. And uh, that sounds good to them because they're keeping their spend low. But one thing they don't realize is that, or will soon find out, is that clicks might be $4 or even 6 or $7 uh, in uh, their industry or market. And if you set a budget at $10 a day and your clicks are averaging somewhere around 4 to $6, you're going to get one, maybe two clicks a day. And many days you're going to get zero clicks because your ad just isn't going to be shown very often because it's so limited by the budget. So keep that in mind. Sometimes it's better to start off a little high just to see uh, how many clicks you're going to be able to get and at what price and even change it after a few days of seeing uh, where your cost per click uh, average cost per click is going to end up. An important aspect of the daily budget is realizing that it's a max budget. So just because you set a budget at $30, like I have set here for this campaign, doesn't mean you're going to spend $30 a day. It depends on your targeting, keywords, and location. Uh, th those things are going to determine the volume you're going to get. Just because you put $30 a day doesn't mean you're going to automatically spend $30 a day. So I can scroll through the graph on this campaign here that's set at $30 per day and look at the last 30 days. Uh, these graphs are available in your ad groups tab or campaign tab. Uh, and you can just click on show hide graph right here. And you can set the values with this drop down box here. And I have these set to cost and clicks. So I can scroll th through here and see had two clicks for $11 here, two for 11 two for 14. Here's the highest day that it went up to 19. And then there's days where it was at one click or even zero. So on these low volume campaigns, there's a lot of days where you're going to spend nothing or very little, which is going to majorly affect your overall monthly spend. So one thing that I like to do with my clients is encourage them to set their budget higher so that on these days where you're getting up to, to uh, six clicks on this campaign, uh, you're getting close to maxing out. So if it would have got one more click, it would have maxed out. So I might rather have my budget set at $50 per day. Doesn't mean it's going to ever go up that high, but on the days that I'm getting close to the max, then I at least give myself some margin in the budget to take advantage of the higher volume on those days. One thing that AdWords will do automatically is add 20% to your budget. So it could go 20% over $30 on any given day. So that would be $36. So on some days here, I could see this campaign going up to $36. 
And then, of course, some days it's way lower. So they do go 20% over on certain days to capture more volume for you. So AdWords will never spend more than 30.4 times your monthly budget. So in my case, 30.4 times 30, which is my daily budget, is $912. So they're never going to spend more than that in a month. 30.4 would be the average days in a month. So here's what my max monthly spend would be. So you can calculate that again by multiplying your daily budget by 30.4. So there's a very important aspect of budget spending and that is the delivery method. And you'll find this in the campaign settings. So I just clicked on the settings tab and if I scroll down, I see delivery method. And by default, this will be set to standard and that's what AdWords recommends. So that optimizes delivery of ads, spend your budget evenly over time. So if your budget was set at $10, but there was enough volume to spend 50 in a day, AdWords is gonna not show your ad all day. So you might search, um, do a test search yourself and not see your ad. And it's probably because they are throttling your impressions, so to speak. So they're not showing you, they're not showing your ad or giving you impressions every time uh, an impression is available in order to spread your spend out throughout the entire day. The other option is accelerated, and what this does is it won't spread out your um, ads or impressions throughout the day, but it'll just give you all the impressions you can get as soon as the day starts. So if you have a $10 a day budget, it'll spend that budget uh, with no time limits on it, and so there's a good chance that you could miss traffic. As I say right here, you can miss traffic later in the day if you choose accelerated delivery. So keep that in mind. It depends on your daily budget if you're hitting the max or not. And so you might ask the question, how do I know when my campaign is limited by budget? Well, don't worry about that because uh, Google's definitely gonna tell you when uh, there's a chance of you giving them more money. So you'll be notified in a campaign in the status column when a campaign is limited by budget. So in this case, there's a campaign at $16 per day and it says it's limited by budget. Basically, that means it could earn more impressions and clicks. And if you click this little graph icon here, they give you this estimation of where you can raise your budget to in order to get more clicks. So in this case, I'm at $16 and I'm getting about 54 clicks. It says I can raise my budget, daily budget, to $48 to get 148 clicks a day. So that's just their recommendation to max out the impressions and clicks. You can obviously choose whatever uh, daily budget you want if you're looking to increase it. And you can check out my other video on impression share. Uh, if you see over on the right, there's a search lost impression share by budget, which is telling me I'm missing out on 68% of impressions based on budget. So check out my other video for some help on that, which helps you determine uh, what you're missing out on and how much you can increase your budget uh, on a daily basis to get more volume. And keep in mind when you're limited by budget, the answer isn't necessarily to raise your budget. Um, sometimes the best thing to do if you really wanna stick with your current budget is to lower your cost per click for that campaign, uh, lower the bid in order to lower your average cost per click and get more clicks for that budget. So if you wanna stick with that budget, but you're limited by budget, you may be spending more per click than you need to. And if by lowering your max bid, you could get more clicks within your daily budget. And then the other option might just be leaving it alone. Um, you could be limited by budget, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're not getting the results that you need to achieve whatever goal you're trying to achieve with AdWords. So I did promise to give you a free tip on getting an email alert uh, based on certain budget constraints. And a lot of people might not even realize these exist, but there's some really nice automation tools under the automate tab uh, right here. So if I click here, there's a bunch of great stuff in here, especially for people who are fans of uh, automation and just efficiency, or maybe you just don't want to be checking your AdWords account every day to make sure you're within a certain budget or to make sure you're not maxing out and limiting yourself by budget. So one feature I like to use is right here. It says send email when. So you can have AdWords send you an email when certain things occur within your account. 
So in this case, I could choose a specific campaign. And so I would need to select that campaign that I had at $30 a day. And then choose selected campaigns. And then it says send email for campaigns when the cost goes over. For example, maybe I want it to be 25 That way when it goes over 25 I'm notified so I can log in and check just to see where it's where it's hitting each day and maybe what time it's hitting that level so that I know I can um, look to increase that or make any other changes to make the uh, spend more efficient and then you can add a frequency so it can check daily um, or email you daily at 8 p.m. using data from the previous day so you can change all these options to email you weekly or monthly and using data from different periods of time so in this case, we're checking the daily budget, so we'd want to leave it on the previous day. And then you can give that rule a name, so you can um, edit it later or delete it if you want. You can preview the result and then save it. Once it's saved, it'll do that check um, according to your frequency and email you when this uh, criteria is met. So definitely give that a try if you want to automate uh, some of the management of your AdWords campaigns and watch the budget a little bit closer without having to log in every day. If you have any questions about any of this, uh, please comment. I do check the comments and reply. And if you found the video useful, definitely give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And subscribe because I'll be doing more AdWords videos to help you all out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.